Roger on that, November Delta will respond, over. Well, I am a police photographer and I operate from Strand Road, Londonderry. We travel alone in an unmarked car in plain clothes, mainly for security reasons. There is nothing particularly secretive about it. All police forces have a photographic department and um, very often the majority of their work is uh, in no way confidential or secretive at all. That actually is where they require a photographer to some serious incident. Um, sounds like a shooting incident actually and has occurred out at a border checkpoint. We're actually approaching the checkpoint now. What we have here is an incident where terrorists were apprehended by the security forces and uh, as a result of which um, there was gunfire exchanged and a terrorist was shot dead. Um, we usually actually start off our album with an aerial view of the scene uh, which sets the scene and we sh within that photograph, that one photograph, we will be able to show the position of um, all the, the people who are important, in other words, where the security forces were, where the terrorist was, where the terrorist had come from and where he was travelling to. Well, this particular photographic unit would use somewhere in the region of approximately 30 black and white films each week. In print terms, you're speaking somewhere in the region of 2,000, 2,500 prints. A particular instance there, we have um, a spent bullet case, just the jacket of the bullet. Uh, where it has been ejected from the, the farm and is lying in the grass. Mm -hmm. Again, just uh, views of the scene. There are occasions when the camera, if not properly controlled, or the photographs can be made to lie to a certain extent. We do not like to go to extremely wide angle lenses or indeed extremely telephoto lenses. We like to portray the scene as one would normally see it in, in nature. Well, masks certainly they hinder the process of identification. They don't necessarily mean that we can't identify those persons. There are always other features, a particular pattern on a cardigan or a jacket. The photojournalist, he is actually there to take photographs for publication in newspapers. He's in the business of selling photographs and naturally that's what he wants. He therefore wants the most dramatic photograph that he can uh, get. We're not in the business of dramatizing things. What we want is a photograph which shows the individual persons actually engaged in, say, street disorder situations or whatever. Um, our photographs are not for sale. 